Okay, we're here. Occupy Honolulu. It's 3 a.m., uh, a little after 3 a.m. So, uh, a very odd, uh, a very early, uh, Right here. Let's see what's going on. In the park I was actually told that we could walk through this this grass area if it was being if it was being like used by people by by an officer. You know, like so, uh, one of what we call Aloha Police and the Aloha shirts. Is that ring a bell? And I'm getting mixed. You can see all that all um, they're all saying all that that's yeah, the no, that's what, that's where they're right. standing is the park. It's closed, right? My park is Let's closed, see what's going on here. It's a very uh, early morning raid here. 3 3 a.m. Actually, it's about 3:20 a.m. here at uh, Occupy Honolulu, corner of uh, Ward and uh, Baratania. So you're taking uh, blankets and whatnot out of the tent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten police here. And, uh, unusual mix, uh, in terms of, uh, so once again, that's the Anavai Mamala Hawaii, the law of the spinner paddle. was going through a battle with these two fishermen. He tripped over a rock, fell down, he's trying to get up, and these two fishermen, one of them hit him in the head so hard on the head that it splintered the paddle. And he, w he went unconscious, but they didn't kill him. Embarked him right here. He could have been killed. So that's how he learned to treat that This is all in the park, uh, what they're calling park area, that's West Chun. Starting his day a little early or ending it late. Hey, bro. How are you? How's it going? It's good. I'm chilling in my chair. Tell me. Down to come take my stuff. Tell me what's up. Tell me what happened. Meaninglessness again. More meaninglessness. So they're going to seize your tent, or what is the deal? Uh, I don't care about this. This is meaninglessness. They can take what they want. It's what they do. I think they're taking my tent, but I don't know. And honestly, I don't give a shit. Believe they walk on top of it. You can't Not take me, right? And if you do, you just let me out. Don't be surprised, man. <laughs> They're taking me right. And then they let you out. That's right. The intimidation game. Oh no, we'll take you. Oh no, we'll put you inside of a place. Looks like they're gonna take it. Huh? Hi, Midori. Tell, tell me what's going on. Oh, well, they showed up around. They showed up at three o'clock, and while well, we're sleeping, and but luckily we had cleaned everything out, and um. Got to all the, our necessities and only just kept like the tents and whatever. Um, so they didn't come back 24 hours later, since it's clearly about property, right? <laughs> it is. They're taking. This is a direct uh, example of of Bill 54 not being about property, but about people and their homes and their stuff. Yeah. It's the Fourth Amendment. It's the Fourth Amendment. I don't know if you guys know that one. They don't read a lot. Yeah, reasonable guarantee against reasonable search and seizure. Yeah. And so,
This seems to me to violate the uh, well, law of the splinter tunnel. Really, like they're not handling things the way they ought to. Just because they're like they're angry inside for whatever reason, you know, whether it be us or their boss, or their job, whatever. But they broke down the canopy. That's one for your car. As soon as they broke it down, the guy broke off the freaking leg. I saw him do it. Oh, he's nuts. Oh, man. You have, you have uh, footage of that? I think... I know. I don't know. So... Our... Um, our new attorney, he said as long as we voice out Kanavai Malahoy yeah. during the... Um, during the raids and stuff like that, then... Because um, he's been wanting to like, go against... He wanted to fight for that law for yeah. a long time, and he didn't know that we did, that we knew about it. And um, he's like, "Well, do you tell the police officers? Do you tell the city workers?" I was like, "Yeah, of course we do." And so I got the little book with them. Yeah, I know. I heard you uh, reciting the uh, law of the splintered paddle, yeah. which uh, is enshrined in the um, State of Hawaii Constitution that allows um, for the allows the people to lie by the roadside yeah. undisturbed. Yeah, I read them the English version and then the Hawaiian I don't know if I read the English version. I was like, wait a minute. There's a uh, tent going into the uh, garbage. Was there, did they have, like the uh, they'd come from somewhere else, huh? Go sleep yeah. in them. Have they come well, from? no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to go buy a new tent. As long as we nice do Nice try. You have a, uh... This is what happens when they come in and force little pieces of paper, right? The you guys should look up footage of uh, active the Nazis people. and then, and then the imagine what their cells look like right now. Or woken up at 3 a.m. You can't see yourself, so. You know if they were at, at another camp before, did they have stuff ready in here? I don't know, you know, it's an HPD, get out of your tent. That's Are they going to, uh... HPD, get out of your tent. Here's, uh... There's the uh, public forum stuff. Thank you. That's cool. We can we can still peaceably assemble and sit on the grass. And well, no, this is uh, Parks and Rec, City and County of Honolulu. Our uh, camp stuff, chairs, public forum material. The uh, mix of number of police versus uh, the cleanup crew is much higher on the uh, police yeah, side. No, I don't think so. Actually, there's more cops. Yeah, a lot yeah, of cops. Lots of cops yeah. I notice a uh, KITV or KHON or Yeah, something. some sort of lamestream media is here. So they must have had some kind of tip off. Right. I wonder if they would know. They've been at an. You know, at this point, I'm really. I, I have a. I have. I'm worried so much about people in other camps, you know. No, I Because like this one, no, they don't, they we're pretty. We're pretty cool. This you know what personal. I mean? Yeah. Hire, you don't have people come on overtime. Boy, you sure don't. That's definitely overtime. We yeah, no, someone, someone the man said. I can't get on the phone comes here. I just talked to him yesterday. Yeah, you did. You had a vegan.
I faxed him my receipt. And then you go out. Hey, that's one less. That's the only reason I had a one pound steak is because I don't live in a fucking house. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you because we showed you before, show and you were sitting here um, yeah, next to a I'm tent. Just here, right? <laughs> I'm just sitting here. And if you mark this, I'll just get another one and sit here. It's gonna stay. You can't actually physically make me leave. I'm pretty sure. Try it. No, you know, I think. Um, trying to manipulate me, scare me, scare tactics. I think they said in court, actually, that you could stay on the sidewalk. It's not allowed to be covered. As part of a, is that? As a, You're allowed to be on the sidewalk. You're yeah. allowed to cover yourself. That is, that is up to the child. You can't protect yourself from the elements. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Well, you're supposed to be able to lay by the roadside. You guys can come hang out in my tent any time. I have, I have two tents in, in my trunk, by the way. Thanks. I love you, Doug. Good morning, Doug. They're also checking uh, in the park, but this is obviously the target of the uh, raid. I think I made it down here fairly quickly. Okay, now this would be instructive. Where where that man is standing on the on the left side? That is the park. According to the, I don't. You know what? I don't think violence is the key. But but the thing is, but the thing is, is that maybe talk is. But, but um, I'm, you know, you say, I don't have all the answers. I'm gonna get. I don't have all the answers, but you know what? I know one thing. Lucas. Lucas. I need your help. They're taking you away from the free speech zone. Step back, so that step back. they can do their job. You know what? You need help. Step back. I'm in a free Step back, ma'am. One more time. Step back, ma'am. One more time. Step back. That's what she's done. Director of the. Uh, hey, step back. Let it go. Unattended in the park. I'm going to give you guys a warning. You guys are obstructing. You guys are obstructing. This is a final warning for you. That was not bad. It was This is a final warning. Please don't talk to me. Okay, step back. Don't worry. Let them do their job. I think you're the meanest man I've ever had in my entire life. Taking a sign. It was not inside. That was not inside the park. We put it outside the lines for a reason. No, get a shot of the table. Oh. No. I did a really good job on it. Do not take that. We have earlier shots of this uh, free speech table. Why are you here? Just, just, we don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need this. We're doing good things out here. We're doing good things. And you know what I'm saying? We don't need this right now. But you're coming here to oppress it, specifically at 3 o'clock in the morning, waking up kids who are trying to make the world a better place. 3 o'clock in the morning, kick them out of the tent. Not to mention the house. How can, how can this be home? Great. Uh, interesting seems to be under the direction of Wes Chun, who's a director of facilities maintenance. 
rather than uh, Trisha Morikawa, who is Office of Housing. So this is being done under the parks or facilities. I can't tell. That's my job. Facilities, uh, which means it's another, uh, that's uh, Officer Santos. Is, uh, to a local police right in the right here. They removed free speech. Have not answered my questions about uh, reobtaining our free speech materials that they stole. They won't. You get the runaround. No, no, they won't even give me the courtesy of the runaround. I wish I could get a retry on this. I fucking the ass. No. Taking the painting? Can I have that painting? Can I have my free speech back? Is that okay? It's okay, yeah. Uh, I did that for the encampment. Uh, uh, especially that? painted. No. It is, uh, it has painting? expressive no. content. I'm not going to go into the truck, but can I have it? No. Why can't I have it? Because it's in the truck. Ooh. Well, I mean, it can be easily taken out of the truck, can't it? It's not, it's not, it's not like there's some, like, magical force field, like, holding it there. It's a free speech material. It has expressive content. Yeah, I, I believe I do express a political message. Happy Vagina Ideology Day. I feel like that's a political message about Valentine's Day. Like, can, can I, can I have that? Can, can I have that, please? Free speech. Pro protect my rights. Come on, protect my rights. You know, for like five seconds, can you do that? Protect my rights. That's your job. Do your job. Why won't you do your job? Protect and serve, protect and serve. Do your job. Do your job. Will any of the cops here do their job? My rights are being violated and none of you are doing your job. Protect and serve, right? Yeah, so you can choose what free speech signs that we have out, so you can choose what things are here, so that you can, so you can selectively well, censor us. Thing. You guys are serving, you are protecting. But who are you serving? Who are you protecting? Are you serving the state, or are you serving the people? And is there, is there a difference? We've gotten used to it, you'll get used to it. Please take that light out of my eyes. Please, please do that enough. Please take that light out of my eyes. Thank you. No, I really just prefer I not did. to have a light through my eyes. I, I asked them, I asked them if any of them knew Let's how to see, buy a law uh, the law that's been to tell. The first law, my King Commandment, the first, if you guys know your history, that even on your badges, yes, 1978, the law of the splintered paddle went into the Hawaii State Constitution. And I asked them if any of them knew what that meant. They knew their history of it, and they didn't respond to me. So what does it, what does it say? Well, how does it violate it? Yeah, it says, honor thy God. And have like a bunch of cops standing around it. Wait, wait. Oh, honor awesome. thy God. Right? Yeah, people. No yeah. repression, no repression of free speech. It's really, it's really nice to see cops around the sign that say no repression. Oh, sorry. Well, they act really, no. like, repressive. Yeah. It, it's a really nice juxtaposition, guys. Like, you're really, like, doing the sign justice. It becomes like a performing art piece. Is it perfor performing art? Yeah, thanks for being involved. And thanks for legitimizing taking of our stuff with new tags. Can you guys imagine if we had no other possessions and we were actually, because of the system, uh, houseless and, and vulnerable and they came and did this? 
like they have done, they swept other people's places. Yeah. How then would we feel, you know? Yeah. Like, I feel like shit now. Yeah. Like, I know, right? Yeah, yeah like, fuck. How much is that? How much is that? Harassing uh, people while they're sitting by their own Every day. That's, uh. People are harassed on the side of the road every day. Every day. Can't get up in the morning without it. Can't go to bed at night without it either. We try really hard not to step in the park because it's closed. The sidewalk is being obstructed by police and employees. Police and employees are obstructing my home. Obviously, a uh, mainstream press guy. Uh, they have cameras and lights, so you can see them. So he has authorization to be inside the park. Uh, they are claiming that that is the border. Can you grab a shot of this? This is pretty nice. Right here. See the Some campers. This is the last of that painting that I did for the camp. They're taking it away, probably not to store it. We're not allowed to go and get it. I've already asked for it a million times. We're not allowed to go and get it. This is not the storage truck. This is the throwaway. Hey, come here. That has expressive... That have uh, expressive content. Michael, come on. For the record, it doesn't have a tag on it. Please. It does not have. It does not have a Midori, it doesn't matter. sticker on it. It's okay. Uh, just, uh, just, I just want to put that out there, the, the energy out there, that it was not tagged. You don't have a thousand dollars. That's what's going to cost to be allowed here. And you would have pulled that law. You know, we got. We would have. <laughs> I really appreciate what you're willing to do. That was really wonderful. Thank you. Uh, I'm. But this is, that should that should just show you how it's how ridiculous yeah. your rules are. You shouldn't you shouldn't have to think. I think you're doing you're doing should, the right it thing. It should be common sense. All I'm doing is grabbing my friend's painting out of a truck, and you would have to arrest me. Yeah. That's silly. Don't you think that's I'm silly? Because I'm grabbing my friend's painting out of a truck. But under this statute, this law. Well, that's not allowed. That behavior's not allowed. It's yeah. not okay. It says here on this paper it's not okay, so it's not okay. Because everything, every everything that's on this paper, that's what matters, right? What's on the paper? It's on the paper. Well, even then, if it mattered on paper, they would understand Malafoy. Oh, that's right. The paper doesn't even yeah, matter. It does. It's already there. That's silly. No, I should have thought of that. We should be okay. All right. Well, You're then. Just joining us, we're at the uh, corner of Ward and Baratania. This is Occupy Honolulu. Just in a raid, very unusual 3 a.m. raid. A uh, dozen armed police, including two Aloha police in you know, Aloha shirts, and uh, jacketed. Uh, City workers and Wes Chun, who's the director of the facilities management uh, department. Doug, can you get a, like a, a cap on how many city workers and cops are here? That's what I was trying to count. Unfortunately, um, I have the wrong was, glasses on. There's about a dozen. I'm reporting about a dozen police. That guy that just left, he was here since the seven. beginning. I saw him at court. So that's uh, seven states. Where is he? And then one, two, yeah, you should four, count. I'll follow you. There's West Chen. Very happy. Five, six, seven, eight. And there's at least just nine and then ten. So ten police officers. So we need to. Um, 
Now I'm wondering if they're going to another place. Well, because we need to know, like, how much money is being wasted on us. And if they're going somewhere to, else. The, the, like, the schools that got shut down, the hospitals that got shut down. Okay, there are two truckloads of uh, stuff. One is one goes to the dump, which we just saw, and this one, uh, where you see uh, garbage uh, containers in, officially goes to storage for 30 days, but. The recovery process is so difficult that very few people have recovered any kind of property. Look at you all t-shirted out. Come on, put on a shirt for us. <laughs> Did you see that? Saved it. Yeah, very I saved good. this chair too. Oh, dude, I literally grabbed it. Very good. I saved the chair too. It's not happening. Oh, Let me get have all our flyers and propaganda. Look at Police are leaving. Crews have left. Who's leaving? We can see uh, in the background is uh, the former mansion of the Tom Anna Rice Cook, who was uh, married to Charles Montague Cook, one of the first thieves that prof profited off the theft of Hawaiian land. They get a mansion, and, and you get a chair in the sidewalk, bro. I get a chair across the street from them. Across the street from them too. Oh, now they're gonna go bust up the. The old timers, the Oh, let's. I'm gonna follow them. I'm yeah. gonna. Okay, that was Occupy Honolulu. It's not just about us. It's about everyone. So let's let's go to another um, encampment. Thomas Square is a square, one square block. And I'm walking away from the Occupy Honolulu corner. Uh, there's some guys who camp out, uh, try and live over on the other side. So I'm following over onto this corner. It's about 3.30, quarter to four here in uh, Honolulu, Honolulu time. I'm not sure now, there's usually people over on this corner. I'm not sure if uh, people are cleared out. I see I see the trucks over on that side. All right, sir. Thank you. There are a couple more trucks over on this side, so let's let's take a look. Or are these the same ones? Can't tell. These look like the same ones that we had over on the other side. They must have gone around the block. And here are the uh, storage containers. These are garbage receptacles, actually. They serve as uh, storage. This goes to Halava. However, the um, recovery process is so difficult that uh, very few people have been able to make any kind of recovery of stuff. There's someone who is technically inside. I see him walking uh, on a cane. I don't think they've sighted him. He left his, uh, somebody left their uh, shopping cart full of stuff, so I don't know what's going to happen here. We're, we're, if you just joined us, we're at uh, Thomas Square, Honolulu. Um, there was just the um, 
raided uh, Occupy Honolulu took untagged items, tagged and untagged items from the park and tents uh, from the sidewalk. We woke up the people that were staying by the roadside, woke them up and took their tents. Um, so this is a new uh, development. And I'm where we are right now is at the other corner where there are some other people uh, stay customarily. Um, you can see that uh, there's a uh, cart that they'll probably end up taking. People on this side are not uh, politically organized. Oh, okay. I was un unfamiliar with the park border on this side. The thing that. But I was wondering, you guys got details about that? Is the air regulated yet? The tree? Tree? What about it? Can't climb trees. And these things so, are what if I have a ladder? boundary of the park. Did they, did they take your stuff or what did you do? Uh, no, I wasn't there. I was going to go to them. Uh, no, I don't see any park in one minute. I'm tired of chicken. Did you get so, tickets before? It's climbing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, it's over 30 days. It's over 30 days. Ladder. Rope ladder. It's really rough, man. Havoc, maybe from branch to branch? Uh, Were you in a tent here? No? I think you had to down to the before. So you were just asleep? Yep. What about if I fix my tent to the side? I noticed you got a. I don't want to show you. I don't want to. I'm going to respect your privacy. But if I get some kind of. You're kind of walking with a cane. What is the deal with the. Uh, they trapped in the hip in 68. 68 said uh, Tent full of concrete, I got that one too. Mix up some concrete for the inside. That'd be a good one to pick up for somebody. You gotta get a permit for concrete? <laughs> for building? <laughs> that is the one. I kind of was You know whose cart that uh, is? Yeah, I think guy. actually technically black I might be able to build an art. When he comes there, all he needs is cars. There's a maritime rule to the law. Well, he's right? got a place for this. I don't know why he doesn't take it down there. Oh, go. he's got a place. I'm building uh -huh. a park. I think I might have a technicality right there. I've been looking hard to try to find the trees, what it is. But I think maritime, because vehicles and maritime vessels are excluded from the 54. Right? So therefore, if I was building an ark, because the world's getting ready to flood, it's my religious beliefs. You guys can't come take it. He said he wasn't going to flood again. Yeah, two dogs? You give me two right. dogs to put in there? Right. <laughs> you got two, you're going to get It's not right supposed now? to flood again, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's not supposed they to flood. We don't sell on carpet and stuff, do they? Oh, I don't know about a couple <laughs> of days back we had it. Yeah, yeah. Sure, <laughs> <laughs> you don't like this. Yeah, I'm trying to find something. Keep it entertaining. It's getting kind of boring. Now, Wes Chun ain't here yet, right? I mean, he took <laughs> off, right? Who? Wes. Yeah, he took off. West, that's his name? West I to get introduced. He did a post-game interview like he was a yeah. coach of a sports team. Yeah, I noticed that. Did you see him? He was like, yeah, we're, 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 we had a stout defense, and you, know, you could count on uh, Gestapo's to keep the pressure off, keep the blitz from happening. Right, the opposite corner from Occupy Honolulu were there. Now confiscating a cart. Somebody left here with their stuff in it. Belongs to a black guy. They didn't want nothing to. in this park. Huh? They want nothing in this park because the people that have a dog rent this park. Yeah. Right. It's a nice saw anyway. So what are you, what are you going to do now? Get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Where can you do that at 4 a.m. in the morning? No, I got it. You know <laughs> okay. This is unpublicized. That's why. Look at how many people are witnessing this. Oh, Being. Yeah, yeah, they're not going to do the rush hour. You remember the Baltimore Colts, right? What happened? 
They packed up Mayflower trucks in the middle of the night, moved to Indianapolis. They moved. In the middle of the night. Baltimore, this is just a Baltimore coat factory. And done. Uh, the corner of uh, Baritania and Victoria. Victoria is a block away from uh, Ward Avenue. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going in a house. You guys can take me to your house, but I know you'll let me out. I hope you do. So let me walk back. I'll walk back to um, Ward, then you can kind of gauge the distance. We'll use a couple of landmarks. That is the... I guess you can't really see it. Anna Rice Cook... Uh, Mansion, Museum of Art, a little Museum of Art. I'm not going to say anything about those bicycles. I hope uh, the people that own them get to keep them, you know? So that's the Academy of Art. Thomas Square, you can see the retaining wall that appears to mark the border of the park, but uh, in fact the park signs are on the uh, retaining wall, on poles along the retaining wall. They're saying that this sidewalk and this uh, grassy area is park for the purpose of seizing it after 10. And I really don't know what the deal is over on this side. There's, they're stealing a guy's stuff over on the other corner. Hey, I think I have uh, PTSD. Pigs took my shit in this order. <laughs> Pigs took it. I was wondering because you look kind of out of it and you're like sitting here like without a tent or any personal possessions well, in the back of now. Um, PTSD. Pigs took my shit. I'll be back in a sec. I'm going to walk to the corner. I'm showing people. Uh... Yep, this is uh, where the encampment was. They would pitch tents at night, uh, take the uh, tents. Um, down during the day, uh, cycle them to private property in 24-hour uh, cycles to comply with the law which requires a storage of uh, material on the uh, on public property for 24 hours or more. This is interesting now. This area would be the place where camp uh, tents would be mounted. And as you can see, it's right on the road. Now that's always the question. Why do people in Hawaii do that? The Kanawai Mamala Hoi is a law, the first law of Hawaii, that was later adopted uh, into the state constitution which allows people to lie by the roadside undisturbed and you can see a violation of that which which has been done repeatedly this is kinda new in that it's a 3 a.m. raid taking of uh, stuff hi any uh, comment Morning, you stream. Do you know who's watching? Uh, I can't tell at this point. Well, I hope whoever's watching is having a wonderful morning. Well, that is fucked up, man. Look at the I know. Oh. 3 at like 2.57, 3 o'clock in the morning. HPD, get out of your tent. HPD, get out of your tent. Focus up. Focus all up. Focus up. What are they doing? They wouldn't even give me time to put on a laser. They took everything. This is what happens. They even took things that had expressive content, took her paintings. Freedom of speech, kind of like I really, I really wish that I could say that, but like I can't ever say that. And you have no warning, huh? They just come and do it? Yeah. Wow. 
Are you? I was like, kind of by, you know, the law. Malafoy. You can see people routinely will walk through this area because it's obviously not the park, but the sidewalk. They don't get arrested or bothered. They didn't see the dots. Look at the dots. Oh, how could they not see the dots? And the signs. Look at the sign over there. You know, would you would you have a hard time reading the fine print at this distance? It tells you the park closing hours. Oh wait, let's go read this. Oh wait, no, we can't. Read. Oh, can't read the sign. You can't get close enough. In order to read the sign, you'd have to actually enter what they're calling park territory. Doesn't that sound like entrapment, Doug? You know, that sounds like something's fucked up. I'm not being really a, a, a objective kind of journalist. I'm being, <laughs> I'm being a guy here with a camera that's yeah, seeing that fucked up stuff. Yeah, that's not like entrapment to me. Like, you know, just the park. Daniel was saying the the fire well, preacher foot. Actually, this is actually <laughs> <laughs> that's correct. I will document that you are standing that outside. Not in the park. Yeah. Now, I'm wondering like from that dot to know. where I am. Yeah, maybe is that this? It seems like the curve, right? Yeah, because it does follow that. Okay, I'm, uh, got to watch out because they have uh, cleared the tree uh, no, I was not that, that has happened. their... Uh, that cabinet, the I wish the public had um, access to that camera, which is on that pole. What is that? <laughs> oh, sure, I will have one. <laughs> Empowerment. Empowerment. You can do it. I'll have a. Is there a small one in there? They're all small. Ones. Oh, okay. I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> I can only see my screen. Empowerment. Let's see here. Take one or two. Just Empowerment. Have, have some empowerment. <laughs> you staying tonight, Doug? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Well, I did. I did bring two tents that I'm going to bring out as soon as the people in the trucks in the corner. No. What? It's not a full night. It wouldn't count for no, 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 a merit no, no, badge. No, 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 like later tonight. Like there's oh. no time in the day, Doug. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Doug. You don't have to stay now. Just now. On the other hand, if I could stay, I could earn a, if I could earn the merit badge by staying just a few hours. You no, know, no, that no, no, that's, that's, that's for being here. Just <laughs> morning, so that's Oh, okay, see? I like the way this guy says it. You can earn the Ustream media bag. Okay, thank you. Right, but you thank you. Wow. I spend a whole night <laughs> no, no, that's true. I'd have to be here from park closing to <laughs> park <laughs> opening. Park closing. Or have something set up beforehand. Oh, uh, sort of who, who called you? Group me. Yeah, uh, Sam. Yeah, I put out, I put out the Thank you very much. Yeah, I, don't have I tried to set a record for actually getting here from my house. So. Because it's really I have important that Doug, get up and Doug knows. Yeah, I, you know, I hate hearing that group me beep at like 3 a.m. I'm going, oh shit, I hope it's just Blade being weird. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, what happened at the GA? You know? <laughs> that kind of stuff. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but this one's really good. I've got PTSD. Pigs are shit in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to be weird. <laughs> you know? And then I, there's a little I thing in my head that says... I know. like, that's like a weird shit. like, what the fuck? <laughs> and a little thing asked me, well, should I, should I look at the screen or should I just act like I'm asleep? <laughs> well, I'm glad you looked at your mother's face. I did. I thought, it fuck, I would just... Being weird on <laughs> I couldn't believe the time. I think this is the first 3 a.m. raid. Yeah, yeah well, we, had, we, had a, we had a one. 2 a.m. 2 a.m. raid. There was a... The, when was the well, 2 a.m. raid? The 2 a.m. raid that happened after the first raid, the park cleaning. Oh. Oh, I okay, I missed that. Yeah, there's some bullshit. That's where they, that they, they sprayed stuff or something? Whoa, oh, I'm not going to document. Run, run, run! Woo!
Oh, watch out. Oh, sorry. Good sorry. Good morning. Early, early morning jogger, blatantly violating, the, subjecting herself to arrest by <laughs> entering, entering the park. Oh wait, she's now exiting the park right near there, the invisible border of the park. <laughs> so, you guys are here and uh, the people with PTSD are over there. Over there, another. I I have PTSD too, but I'm over here. Like they just took my shit, yo. <laughs> I've got I've I, I, I've got that disorder. <laughs> can I can I get a settlement from the state for that? For for for, for, well, we'll for, for PTSD for they just took my shit disorder. <laughs> Or at least a prescription of some kind. <laughs> yeah, like, can I get some sort of, like, nice prescription, like, that'll make this worth it? Me? No, no, I'm just kidding, you stream. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to gather up the stream. Did anyone else... You were, Somebody else is taking uh, photos and stuff? No, or video? Not me. Were you? Lucas, okay. Yeah, Lucas uh, was going yeah, to go play about it. Is that one, uh, um... Gather everything in a blog post and then okay, send okay, it out okay, as a. Over there. I'm gonna go Add check. Cameras. I'm gonna check. See how I can get that. Okay, if you're joining us now, it's uh, you missed the raid on uh, Occupy Honolulu. Uh, 3 a.m. raid. Um, I'm walking to. Over to the other guys here. Uh, they took everything, sleeping supplies, everything that people had from the side of the road, that everything that people had inside their tents. I just came to check. People have uh, photos and that kind of stuff. What do you, how do you usually handle your photos? I mean, how do you get it? Well, my phone hasn't been uploading since, so the last time I did was, uh, I got the SD card and I uploaded it. Into a computer, okay. Yeah, send me a link or something when you get it anywhere. What I'm going to do is, yeah. I'm going to do a press release kind of thing. And send it out. No, they must. Uh, he must be on the inform list. At least still at that corner. I'm waiting for them to leave because I have uh, a couple tents in my trunk, brand new, not stored anywhere. I just talked to West Chan too, like yesterday. Yeah, I just played phone tag with him yesterday. I I faxed him uh, the receipts I had to my tents. Huh? They they don't. It's interesting. They don't care. And you know, the thing that bothers me is, I'm sure this camp gets mm -hmm. special treatment. Oh, yeah. These <coughs> guys don't do overtime. Yeah. Nobody just deoccupies. Yeah. Really yep. Well, that guy's probably filing his report. I hate well, I could leave. I could leave my tents with you, right? And then you could get it to Sam. And okay. Well, that's gone. We're still waiting for. Uh, I'm gonna take the tents out of my trunk. In fact, we'll document that.
and then leave it here. I want to show that uh, they weren't stored for 24 hours on public property, that in fact they're currently on uh, private property. I'm going to see why they didn't take this tent. I think maybe because they hadn't tagged it or something. Why did they leave this tent? I think they just ran out of room. No, they didn't tag it. Because it wasn't ta the other ones were tagged? Or else they had that... Well, Wesley Chun re-tagged the tent. So, well, it doesn't even matter. Did he tag it and take it? Yeah, he tagged it and take it, took it. Well, how, that doesn't make sense. I'm going to go get my... Uh, I'm going to get the two tents and bring them back. Okay. I'm, I'm documenting that I have... Uh, they did leave uh, one of the tables that was here. Corner of uh, Ward, that's Ward Street up there. Baritania is that way. Occupy Honolulu. I'm going to my car, which is safe for a little while because uh, when uh, rush hour starts. It'll get towed. I have two brand new tents here. You can tell by their square shape that they haven't been, uh, haven't even been un unpacked yet. I'm going to get a better shot of that. These are the Embark tents that I favor. They're actually pretty good. They're $37 at uh, Target. You can see the square shape here indicates it and the sharp corners indicate that they haven't even been unpacked. And I'm going to take them to the corner. Now, if you're watching, uh, it's also the what I call the uh, Adopt a Tent program, which um, allows people to support Occupy by dropping off a tent and then picking it up within a 24-hour period dropping another one off, handing off, uh, I really like those, those tents are like for the, the price performance ratio, <laughs> oh, and, and I've also learned how to pitch one, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, so you can, you stay into it? No, I gotta, I gotta file this as a press release. Same, same Friday? I might, I might do that Friday. Friday? <laughs> what you doing Friday then? <laughs> what you got going on? Come on, dog, run. <laughs> We're gonna get you to stay here. <laughs> maybe I'll maybe I'll sign off now and I'll, and I'll go and file this yeah. and I'll like zoom out on this uh, and this and stay left. It's part of the. It has expressive can, content can, on can, it. Can I open it first? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 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 There's wow. a. Literature in there. We also fully support occupying Rick Santorum. <laughs> occupy people who hate women. <laughs> but occupy with Aloha. Thank you very much. Good night. Thanks for joining us. And we'll be back.